translated that the stirring of the water, another say, trouble of the water, which mean the same. And this impotent man, the Bible tells us that he was in this condition. And he found himself, he found himself in a position. Thank <laughs> you. 
young men, they will carry themselves around wearing their pants down below their butt. And you will be able to see whatever they are wearing underneath their pants. And if you discover also those women who are trying to be men also wear their pants below their butt. And everybody, wherever they go, they will reveal whatever they are wearing. But if the church of God will preach the gospel like we once used to do, when I was a little boy growing up, that same gospel, when the gospel be preached, and those men and ladies who try to be here, the gospel has Because they know they had 
the encounter before because some of them were official men which tell me they had some kind of connection with the sea and the Bible tells us while Jesus was there taking a little rest and while the ship was rocking and tossing from one side to the other side the dead the disciple they got frightened and they asked Jesus they woke Jesus up out of the sleep I believe that Jesus was just there relaxing even though in the physical his eye maybe was closed but little did they know that this is the same Jesus who said let there be and there was little did they know that this is the same God who said let us make man in our image after our likeness little did they know that this is the same God who said let there be and there was little did of the Almighty. Let them they know that this is the same God who King David said, I will walk to the valley of the shadow of death and while I'm walking, oh my God, I will say no evil. Watch this. Notice, brothers and sisters, why Jesus to don't kill him 
and don't destroy him in the name of God. Notice the King James Version say, in your God, in God, which is telling me that this man had something controlling his being, who know God, who had an experience about the Creator. And Jesus asked this man, man, what is your name? The man responded to Jesus, my name is Legend. And the Bible said, Legend mean many. And later on in the Bible, we see that the Bible said that over around 2,000 demons was cast out, out of that man. Ladies and gentlemen, sometimes you go to a situation, you find yourself on in the valley, and you just fought one devil. Sometimes you think it's just only one devil. is there operating. And when you get to the mountain top, you encounter another attack. Ladies and gentlemen, sometimes we have to find ourselves in this waiting process where we can require of God, where we can consult God. Amen. God with direction. God, where should I go? Should I go to the north like David? David and his men, their camp was pitching the south, but David required the Lord. Lord, what must I do? All is gone. Hear what St. Vincent and the Grenadines is saying. My economy is getting worse. It's going down. Our government is seeking loans after loans so that he can keep the economy stable, so that he can keep the workers who are working and depending on our monthly wages while he's seeking how he can get more money, money after money, because why? The economy is very shaky, but thank God for a man that seeks the face of God. Ladies and gentlemen, anytime you inquire of the Lord, anytime you wait on God and you see the face of God, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, church, can I tell you, all God will say to you when you humble yourself, when you repent and you acknowledge where you have gone wrong, God will say to you, son, daughter, I heard your prayer, never mind, you'll be this discouraged, never mind, some form of depression has come upon you, never mind, some is in a state of depression, God will say to you, I heard your prayer that you cried out last night, I heard your prayer that you uttered unto me yesterday, now I'm telling you, son, daughter, your name will pursue, and hey, ladies and gentlemen, while you're pursuing, you're not just going to pursue all, but guess what, you will overtake, not just overtake, because you can overtake some stuff, and you miss out on some, and you can overtake some stuff, and you can't carry them well, but God said to the servant, hey man, you will overtake, and you will recover all. If this is a waiting process for the body of Christ, then ladies and gentlemen, in a few moments time, can I tell you something? Church of God, worldwide, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, there is coming a time where even though you're in a waiting process, there must come a time where you will hear the word now, out of the waiting process, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength is at a time for the church now while she is separated from the world while she is only using one channel to preach the gospel while she is only echoing that through that channel and only most percentage of the brethren are members of the body of Christ ladies and gentlemen can I tell you something you will hear the voice from heaven will be saying to you in just a few moments time it's time now church you gotta pursue but church you can't do it like you used to do before church you can't carry my me my and myself church you gotta carry all you gotta lead and subject yourself unto the leadership of the holy spirit church it's gonna be here it's pursuit time church and even though when you hear the word pursue, God will say to you, it's a time where there's going to be a glory movement. There's going to be a time where the church, not just pursuing, but the church also will overtake. Not 
only just overtake their young men and women, boys and girls in the ghetto that the ministers, the men, the pastors, the evangelists, the apostle, the bishop will need to go into the ghetto and watch the face and they will depend on the voice of God that sin time to overtake when they preach the gospel of Jesus Christ back in the church then God will say move out now it's time the waiting process is over now I'm taking you into an over oh, an overtaking process and while you're on your journey while you're on this journey you just can't stay quiet you're going to need to know how to carry what you're carrying well because there is something miraculous something supernatural will hit your being on your journey that will power you that will energize you so that you can carry what you're carrying well into the ghettos into the street into the media oh god into every constituency in your country you will have to carry that thing well because the same boys and the same girl the same men and the same women who is out there they're gonna watch you they're gonna hear you they're gonna beep on you they will mock you as they will say and they will look at the life that you're living so then guess what that's why it's gonna be so much important for you to carry what well then it's gonna be important another thing you will have to do Form 
form of connection with the church because they have to isolate themselves. Some even what you call quarantine. Notice. So you want St. Vincent, a few months ago, used to have great numbers worshiping together. Not just the church alone, the members of the body of Christ. But you used to get the world comes in and notice this process has passed and you're in a secret place right now where just ten are meeting which I am experiencing the ten that is members is the remnant. So it's me that we got to wait and God for direction. Oh God, where I'm going? Can I go on a bit more? Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Hold on. I'll preach till one o'clock if you permit me. Yeah, yeah. Amen. So the Bible said that the man who was bound at preaching the gospel, that's why God has allowed me to bring forth the gospel of Jesus Christ at this time. Notice the past Sundays we had Pastor Cass preach the gospel. You had minister work preach the gospel. You came right down back to the evangelist. Kelani preached the gospel. They preach it and they pinpoint, they point out the gospel of Jesus Christ. Which is saying, God is speaking to the church today. So guess what? After Jesus came out of delivering demons out of one man. Do you believe it? 2,000 devil. And you know, when you think about this man who in control of all these demons, I don't think he's smart enough. He's a fool. Because imagine you're using the same mechanism from creation to now. Nothing changing. Only mean he catching us sometime. Because we, the church, want him to catch us. Because we are carrying something that has been renewed morning by morning. Yes. It's true. Notice he is begging God. He is bargaining with Jesus. Don't destroy me. But give me a second chance. Oh, I love God. I love God is a God of second chance. We fall. The Bible said, "A righteous man falls seven times, but the Lord will lift him up, raise him up again." Notice the man. Tell himself he's smart. He is smart. He is bargaining with Jesus. I know you are the Messiah. I know you are bigger than me. I know you are mightier than me. Destroy me. But he didn't even know that Jesus Christ didn't even come so much at that time to destroy him. Jesus Christ came so that he can set man free from the bondage that he placed on man. Amen. Amen. So man can have this free access where they can come to Jesus Christ whether day and night. Because the Bible said that his time is coming in the book of Revelation where he will be bound in the bottom of his fist for a thousand years. He's going to buy that man for himself. He's going to redeem that man to his father. Notice. He thinks he's smart, but he's a fool. Hear what he begged Jesus. He said, Jesus, send me, send us into the swines. So we can run down the stream. I will be jump. <laughs> Listen to me. You think spirit could jump? <laughs> His time, he think, his, that was his time. His time is coming. Amen. Guess what? He had all the one turn that was cast out of heaven. <laughs> but notice, Jesus just came out from the storm where he speak to the storm and said, Peace be still. Amen. Enter into this country. The devil sure.
I just read you. Can just read it. We won't read much. Much. We just read a few verses. We'll read from verse twenty-one, and, and then we're gonna close, and we will just read and just share it, and then we're going. We're going home. Mark chapter five, and read from verse thirty-one. Hallelujah. Mark chapter five, verse thirty-one. And it writes, and his disciples said unto him, Thou say the multitude throwing in tree, throwing in thee, and says thou, who touched me? And he looked around, he looked around about to see her that had done this thing. But when the woman fearing and trembling, knowing what was done in her, came and fell down before him, and told him all the truth. And he said unto her, Daughter, thy faith had made thee whole. Go in peace and be whole of thy plague. Notice, this is the woman who touched the hem of Jesus' garment. Move on, man of God, to verse 35. While he had spake, there came from the ruler of the synagogue, how certain which said, The daughter is dead. Why troublest thou the master any further? As soon as Jesus heard, as soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, he said unto the ruler of the synagogue, Be not afraid, only believe. Notice. Jesus just made a woman whole. How come running a ruler? If you are a ruler, you have to have certain power. Beg it, go on, evangelist. And he suffered no man to follow him, save Peter and James and John, the brother of James. And he came to the house of the ruler of the synagogue and said the tongue. And then that wept and wailed greatly. And when he was come in, he said unto them, Why make ye this ado and wept? The damsel is not dead, but sleepeth. And they laughed, laughed him to scorn. But when he had put them all out, he took the father and the mother of the damsel, and them that were with him, and entered in where the damsel was lying. And he took the damsel by the hand, and said unto her, Talita kumi, which is, be interpreted, damsel, I say unto thee, arise. Notice. Jesus, he didn't need a crowd to go and heal or cause the damsel to live again. The Bible said he put them all outside. He only carried a small number with him. And he called the damsel. He stretched it out his hand into the hands of the damsel. And straight away the damsel live again. Brothers and sisters, even though the church of God is in a waiting process, God is in the midst of the church in this waiting process. All Jesus said to them, be not afraid, only believe. If the church of God, the body of Christ, can only remain in faith, in God, and believe that God can calm the storm like he did before, we will come out victorious. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, Amen. I think I said enough for the day. Thank you for your patience. It's always a joy for us. Coming from Rehobo Church, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ through this one channel. And we are getting it out. But soon, the other two channels will be opened up for the church again. So in this waiting process, I am my sermon on the waiting process this Sunday. I beg of you, while we are in this waiting process, give 
Leave it all to Almighty God. Lay it all in His hands and He will see us through. Don't complain. Follow the protocols. Do what they say. If coronavirus was made to destroy and lessen the population of the world, God knows if there is some rich man or whoever behind this whole thing, then it means if it, it means that this are these rich men who are pumping in millions of dollars for the vaccine. If they are behind the COVID-19. If they are behind the COVID-19, that's why I'm so careful of what I say concerning COVID-19. If I know I'm lying. If they are behind it, and now they are behind the vaccine, it means something is wrong. And it's saying to the church, you have to know, examine what you do and what you take. Because I would not invest millions of dollars to destroy a planet and then turn back and spend millions of dollars to try to save the planet that I'm destroying. Then the tool that I'm using, the channel that I'm using, is mean maybe it's contaminated. <laughs> Listen to me. We have to ask God for wisdom. It's like, we have to study minister. We can't just take everything people push down our children. We have to study. Do like David. Inquire of the Lord. Britain, inquire of the Lord before you move. Alma, seek God before you move. Because sometimes some of us, we talk too much and we shoot too much. And we think we have the answer and we mess up your plan. Seek God for yourself and hear what God is saying. Why we are in this waiting process. Church, whoever you are, wherever you are, fuel us on this platform. We pray that the peace of God that passes all understanding will be in you, will be upon you, will surround you as you conclude this new brand week. As you try to claim and receive and overtake all. May you wait on God. May you lead your families in families devotion. May you find time for your children and your sons and your daughters. Gather them around in your homes. Call them in prayer. Pray together in your homes and say, God, here we are as a family. Even though they can't talk, even though they can't walk, gather around that bedside and say, Here we are, God. We have heard enough from the World Health Organization. Our children, our sons, and our daughter need a future. While we are here on planet Earth, while we are waiting for your return, you tell us we have to occupy until you come. God, we ask you to do something new, change situation in Jesus' name, and watch God work for you and your house. You will so.